Hi guys, it's Chris here from Some Bloke Who Travels A Lot and today we're in the south of France for a few days at the wonderful coastal resort of Agda which you can see out of the window right now as we begin our descent with Ryanair into Bézier. Now the flight was great. Immigration at Bézier wasn't that long. Then Ryanair behaved like, well, Ryanair. I hadn't flown with Ryanair for nearly 10 years, but I'd flown down to Bézier in the spring and had had a wonderful short break in Bézier. Both Ryanair flights were on time with no problems, so I thought I'd give Ryanair another go. Now when you arrive at Bézier, there are two buses waiting, one to the centre of Bézier and one to Agda. As Bézier was such a perfect trip, I thought, why not try Agda? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Well, Ryanair played a blinder, lost luggage on a scale I've never experienced. But that is a tale for another video, which, depending on when you're watching this, you will find the link in the description below. Eventful, frustrating, desperate, and an ever so slightly illegal dash through the streets of Set. But like I said, a tale for another video. But back to Agda, which I think I will be saying in reality in the not too distant future, as I really enjoyed my short stay here. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you around my short taste of Agda, and the next video, which I will be posting tomorrow, is all about the wonderful Mercure Hotel Agda and the Cap de Agda golf course. Now from the Mercure Hotel, it's a short and very pleasant walk towards the beach. And as you can see, there's an awful lot going on down here. But I thought this evening I would take a mooch to Luna Park. Now as you approach the park, there is an abundance of what I call holiday restaurants. And after the park, I decided to check one out. So I shall show you that in a couple of minutes. Luna Park, it's really the major attraction at Agda. It is a mixture of a fun fair with some smaller rides for younger kids, right up to a few high octane adrenaline experiences. But be warned, I saw no opportunity to buy a wristband. So it's individually priced rides and some of them, well a lot seem to be at the 8 euro, 10 euro mark, which will soon add up. Now apparently there are half price nights, so look out for those, but I imagine that's only going to be low season only. However, it's definitely worth a stroll, especially as entrance to the park is completely free, and you are on holiday, so why not pack yourself with a few thousand calories, then pay to be spun around in a 360 at 4G? I mean surely that's what holidays are all about. Now after all the fun of the fair, it was time to grab something to eat. I was feeling a little bit peckish before I went back to the hotel. Now, I'd never been to this part of France before. I'd been further down to Nice and Monaco, and I actually used to live near Bordeaux in southwest France in the Medoc. And one thing that I discovered in France was a very underrated French food called pizza. Now the Italians get all the credit for that, but the French make a mighty fine one. So just outside Luna Park, I stopped for one. It was a definite tourist trap, but the pizza was good and it was reasonable. I paid 15 euros for two small beers and a pizza. The next morning, I planned a day on the beach, just a long walk and a coffee spot. I stopped building sandcastles literally months ago and as you walk to the beach by the marinas there are plenty of restaurants and bars and there are also plenty of restaurants and bars along the beach and plenty of those private sun lounger areas all at a drastically cheaper price than along the French Riviera and, and other more fashionable parts of Europe. Now last night when I was walking to Luna Park I noticed a ferris wheel in the distance so I decided my afternoon mission 
was to find that. And I did, and yet another side of Agda was revealed. Bars, restaurants, shops, boat tours, boat envy, it was all here. Now, I didn't return in the evening as I had a busy day the next day chasing my luggage halfway across France that Ryanair had decided to have a game of hide and seek with. More about that in another video. Now in this video, I've just shown you the coastal holiday side to Agda, which I felt ticked a lot of boxes for a seaside holiday. It's exceptional value in every area, flights, restaurants and accommodation. But of course, with the exception to prove the rule, Luna Park. But there are plenty of activities in Agda that don't cost the earth and are highly rated. Now TripAdvisor has very conveniently located all those in one place and I've put a link to that in the description below. And there are also several activities to be avoided. Again, TripAdvisor will guide you on that one. Now accommodation. I walk past numerous self-catering complexes and campsites all with their own wonderful French holiday supermarket. An essential part to a, a holiday in France for me. And this supermarket was next door to my hotel. That's the Mercure, which there should be a link coming up on the screen now, or there will certainly be one in the description below to my video of the Mercure in Agda. Now there's one side of Agda that I completely didn't even touch in this video, is the historical main town, which I briefly set eyes on as I caught my train to Perpignan. Another amazing French town with very cheap Ryanair connections. And the videos from Perpignan will be on the channel next week. More on Agda, the hotel and the golf course tomorrow. Not forgetting my crazy game of luggage hide and seek with Ryanair across France. And that video is coming soon. I mean, you'd almost think it's worth subscribing. Subscription is of course free. So even better than a value than a holiday in Agda. And don't forget to ring the bell, then YouTube will notify you when I post my videos for my travels. Thank you so much for watching and happy travels.